Okay, this is a sync check. Oh, I didn't change the scene. Lil Mao. Yeah, it's synced. <laughs> Oh, mega dance. Pikmin 4 soundtrack goes crazy? Maybe, I don't know. I've never played Pikmin, but the loading screen music is nice. But hi, Koboba, welcome in.
It came on in 15 seconds. Two, one. Guys, I'm live. Hello, good morning. I know, good afternoon, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is um 3.30 for me. I am a little bit late, but it's because we had maintenance come by yeah. today. Hi! Hi, Mint! Thank you for the six months! Can we get some wins in chat? Thank you. I appreciate the six months. New badge! New badge! Three more till you get the coveted sunflower badge. But hi, Mint! It was fun playing with you last week! Um, hello! So we had Mint and Kobobo in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. So I'm a little bit late. You guys can tell it's um 3 p.m. It's evening for some of y'all. But it's because we had maintenance come by today and we didn't know until like an hour ahead. So we couldn't use like certain appliances in the house. Like we couldn't use any of the downstairs um shit. <laughs> so I couldn't cook, I couldn't do laundry until like 3, no until 2, so I had to get shit done and then I would stream. That's why I'm like, I'm freshly showered. But yeah, so that was today. Also, I had to ask you guys something, because they're also doing some construction around our unit for the next two weeks. So... We have two, because they're doing construction from like 10 to 6 every freaking day. So, it's either we do late night with Peasons at 7 p.m. PST, degen hour streams, or I just, I just do this. I just bring my mic like super close. Or I can, I can just adjust, adjust my settings and stream at like a normal time. By the way, I can't stream tomorrow because I gotta help my sister with, you know, adult things because she got laid off. <laughs> you playing Pikmin 4 is gonna make me play more so I don't get spoiled? Yeah, speedrun it right now. Peace in staying up past her bedtime. I know, it'll be... Please don't have me stream in the evening. I was, I was talking to my friend about it earlier. They're like, oh, if you do, like, late night streams, then I can watch because they work until, like, 9 p.m. And it's like, I don't want to do that, though. I can't stay up that late. Construction work backgrounds sound may go crazy. It would, it could be a good bit. Like if I'm just talking, I'll just do this. Be like guys, I got a mute. I'm sorry. But then the bit is, I just say like really bad words when I'm muted, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's the construction. <laughs> but I'll think about it. I'll probably just stream at normal times. But either way, let's see. I'm busy tomorrow. Thursday, I can probably do stream. Friday, sub only in the evening, as usual. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Guys, we're playing Pikmin. I have never played a Pikmin game. I remember I wanted to try and get it on the Wii, but my sister didn't want it. Because my parents' rules were, if they were going to get a game, then both of us has to like it. So I didn't get to play Pikmin. And when... Pikmin 4 was announced. I know everybody was losing their minds. I was just kind of like, oh, that's cool. That's nice. But we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I'll make it like the the main channel game for now. Like, you know, because we just beat Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening last week. So this might take the Wednesday slot. Okay, I'm not going to look up spoilers. I'm just going to see how long the game is. Imagine it's 100 hours. How many streams would that be? That'd be 25 streams. <laughs> I've never played either, but I've heard good things. Same with me. Same with me. So I'm excited. The trailers looked cute. Like, the ones they showed in the directs were cute. Let's see. Pick... I keep on typing pick man, not pick min. Pick min. For game length. Dude, I'm so bad at typing on my phone. I put K-L-M-T-H-G. Oh, it says main story is average 15 hours. Okay, okay. Oh, in the original games, it says there's a time limit. And your player dies if you don't beat the game in a month. Um, spoilers. 
That's kind of scary, but it seems like there's no supposed time limit in this game, which is very good. So this says it takes 14 hours, so we'll play this for a month. We'll play this for a month. I'm sad I can't watch this, I can't have spoilers. Mac, you had literally all weekend to play the game. Were you too busy watching Barbie? Wait, we gotta talk about the Barbie movie! Okay, we're not playing it, we're stalling for a little bit longer. Oh, Mac, just go back and watch the VODs. What's this? What's this? Your mom. Hi, <laughs> Ed. Thank you for the six month resub. Thank you, Ed. Can we get some weds in chat? Thank you, Ed. I appreciate it. Another budding sunflower badge, everybody in chat. Thank you, Ed. I haven't seen that either. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't spoil. I will do a full review next week. I'll just say like a little tidbit today. Hi, Mint. Yo. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Mint. Okay. Guys. Little updates. Little updates. Oops. Hold. I didn't capture the right scene. This is not Pikmin. Don't. <laughs> Ooh. Not Pikmin. What is this? Is this my YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash at peace in 17 in chat. Guys. Go subscribe. It is the pinned message in chat. Go subscribe. Yes, I played Cooking Mama. Um, almost a year ago. There is a highlight on the YouTube channel. Go watch it. I have a new video that I posted on Friday called I Strained My College Graduation. If you missed that stream, go watch the highlight. It's pretty good. Weekly highlights every Friday at 9 a.m. PST. So you can watch it before the sub only streams on Friday. Okay, okay, go subscribe. Also, I made a new banner. Can you see my cursor? I don't think you can see my cursor. Because somebody was saying, when you're small on YouTube, you have to make really gimmicky banners. So, I made a gimmicky banner. Um, I have yet to gain a subscriber. Sad. Also, huh? Peace and art on myshopify.com, guys. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off an original painting today. Twitch app broken completely after I clicked the link. Classic Twitch mobile. Classic. But welcome back. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, last little updates. Which one is it? I have two things. So this, I go on like morning walks every day and I go with my sister now because, you know, she's um unemployed. But isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? It's two birds on a pole. And it was funny. I'm not even joking. As, I'll, I'll read out the tweet. Follow my Twitter for funny tweets sometimes. It says, on my morning walk, as I stepped out, to t as I stopped to take a picture, one of the crows proceeded to shit on the sidewalk. Even the birds out here stream sniping. I thought this was the funniest shit. Like, the moment the bird, like, defecated, I immediately thought of the joke and I was like, oh, I gotta tweet that. I think that's funny. Anyway, it's a really cool picture. I feel like this would make a really nice painting. Because the ombre from light blue to dark blue is so pretty. Also, like, see how this... Wait, can you even see my cursor? It does not capture my cursor. Anyway. I thought it was pretty. Also, guys, I did see the Barbie movie. You know what they say? Um, go woke, go broke. <laughs> I won't spoil too much. Because I know it just came out a few days ago. But I think it was really good. Second best movie of the year, not even joking. It was so much better than I thought it'd be. I thought it would be mega cringe. But, it was actually really good. And to me, a movie that's really good makes me feel something. Like, if a movie makes me cry or tear up, then it's a good movie. And I teared up a little bit. My glasses were fogging up, and I was hyperventilating in my mask. It was good. If you have a chance, go watch it. It is a bit, like, um, libbed up. And it is obviously, like, part of the Mattel, so there's a lot of hashtag subtle ads in the movie. But still a very good, fun watch. You're waiting to watch it at home? You're crazy. I saw it. When did we see it? We saw it Saturday night. And the theater was packed of, like, a bunch of girlies, right? In their little Barbie movie fits. And if I didn't watch it in a full theater, I don't think the jokes would have hit as hard. Because I think one of the lovely or the best thing about watching movies in theaters is like the collective experience of like laughing or gasping along with the crowd because it kind of reinforces what you're also feeling. So 
Like, there were some r parts of the writing where I wouldn't have laughed, but I only laughed because everybody else in the room was laughing. It's kind of like that. I think it's something that you should try to see in theaters. I mean, but... Uh, but if you enjoy shit on your own, then I guess it's fine. Anyway, I'll give a full review next week. Also, my fit. That was my fit. I specifically... <laughs> I wore my coat off my shoulders just for the picture, because it's cold as fuck in our local theater. It is freezing. Okay, that is, um, update. That's what I've done since I streamed last. When did I stream last? Sunday! We did a sub only on Sunday, and it was really fun. It was genuinely really fun, because one of my biggest gripes with doing Play With Viewers, and then why I don't do it too often, it's because people get bored of it, or the chat is dead, but you guys, whoever was here last Sunday, thank you all for watching and playing and chatting. It was very nice to see that you guys were still like goofing and gaffing the basically the whole time during the stream as you guys were playing like in between rounds and matches. That is really good because I know for playing with viewer streams, there are some people who will be left out, whether it be like people who are non subs or people who just don't have the game or maybe they don't have Nintendo online. So I do appreciate. The people who do keep chatting throughout to kind of like hype each other up or i guess add a bit more like entertainment value to the people who can't play so thank you thank you okay enough stalling let's play pikmin now i have never played a pikmin game this is actually my other account I did, I did not start the save, do not worry. I just, I usually open the game in, on my, on my alt account. That way, um, if it does show a cutscene, I don't like skip through it. Okay, Pikmin time. Blind Pikmin 4 playthrough. Who's excited? Type 1. If I see a single 2 in chat, I'm literally gonna end stream. Oh, I was like, I thought the loading screen was a shark. Because it's shark week. Because in my, like, recommended shows to watch, I'm getting so many shark shows. And I'm like, why? Why am I getting so much shark content? It's because it's, um, hashtag not an ad discovery shark week. Discovery Paramount Shark Week. Okay, Pikmin 4, everybody! Okay, story mode. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure. Or Dandori battle. Put your planning skills to work and manage the clock in this fierce competition that can be enjoyed solo or with two players. Let's do story mode. Settings. Survey drone, we get to do Obama simulation? Oh, I don't want motion controls. I'm turning that shit away. I'll, le I'll leave it on for now. I hate motion controls. Okay, I don't know what any of these do. Th that's way too much. Oh, no. Oh, oh, spoilers. Okay, let's start the story mode. Okay, game progress is saved automatically. The P icon will appear in the top left corner of the screen when saving is in progress. How many players are there? One player, I don't have any friends. Typical. They should ban all loading screens. Not even joking. <laughs> I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet. How I was ultimately rescued. What if we just don't rescue him? Is that an option? After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. 
Well, I thought I was doomed. Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. The Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. A quest that was nearing its end. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. What is this place? It's your mom's house! Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Wait, where are you running off to? They're so cute! They're like little minions. They're all doing their own little thing. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Okay, I am now in control. Okay, look ahead. Move? R- okay, R is camera, left is move. Got it. I don't like games where there's like... Where you have to use both sticks. It confuses me. Ooh. I saw some of the pigmen head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup strength. I just need to press X and hold down, then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let her go and I'll let go and let her rush. Wait, I forgot already. I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Get in line, soldier. Well, oh, it's cute how they're just grabbing on. It's like those animals you see. I think it's like the hippos. And then they have like little birds like land on them and they eat the bugs. It's kind of like that. The symbiotic... Animal relationships, I think, are really cute. <clears throat> I just wish I knew why the pigmen ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. <laughs> Record later. No, I'll write it down now. It's like a diary. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it.
Okay, strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at the area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. I need to find my missing ship parts, and it'll be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. It's funny how they made the voice actor so deep, but he looks like a literal baby. Like a little elf. I can't really tilt the camera up. Don't look before you leap. Okay, so I can use the fan to get back up. Oh my god, my sister was playing Fall Guys last night, and it was... I haven't played Fall Guys in forever. But apparently, you can, like, make levels. And... There was this one guy- I wish we screen it. But there was- because the premise of the level was, like, moving blocks so you could, like, climb higher. Make it to the top, I'll look around with- How do I jump that high, though? Get down here. But there was this one guy who was like intentionally pushing off blocks, and it was the funniest thing. Hi, Alex. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. You've been nonstop playing Pikmin. This is my first ever Pikmin game. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I dashed the wrong way. Silly me. Wait, which butt? Okay, I know which button is X. I knew I'd find you here. These are fake ass pigmen. They're running away the moment they see danger. Oh, I did not see you guys. This game is probably hard if you're, like, colorblind. Like, joking, not joking. Oh, I have thir- Okay, I have enough. I have 37 out of 37, I think. Oh, there are more. <laughs> Stop playing around. Could those Pikmin be playing? Yeah, they're... fucking around on the clock. I don't pay you guys to go on the slide. I don't even pay you, but we don't talk about that. Okay, 43 to 44. Oh, there's one more little guy. It's like when your teacher calls you in from recess and there's two like little kids still going down the slide. It's like, did you not hear me say recess was over? I hear voices. I can check the area with a right stick. It's your birthday in eight minutes? Really? Well, happy early birthday. And we'll say happy birthday again in eight minutes. Were you gonna be doing anything special later today then? Okay. There has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's power for nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. We need to stay on that scent. Oh, oh. 
Do I know what's up here? Or do I want to know what's up here? Oh no, a boss fight already? A creature? I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Those spiky things are gonna make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. I'm gonna go to London? Fancy. <laughs> oh, those spikes keep getting in the way. Oh, my Pikmin! Okay. Dude, what a KO? Easy! It's the Interstellar Radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Unless... I bet we're gonna get our ship, like, almost all the way fixed, and then we're gonna crash again. That's my prediction. I had recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. And I attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed, but a month later, my signal finally reached the rescue corps. They took off toward the remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Oh no! Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. That's right, you are my last hope. Emergency mission! Rescue the Rescue Corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed Rescue Corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, why do- why is the character I'm playing looking different than the one I saw in the trailer? So, am I, like, the intern who was, like, the last resort? Am I the congress member they keep buried underground in the case of a nuclear apocalypse? Okay. I'm gonna make it look just like me. <laughs> I like how this one is pink. <laughs> I didn't Okay, okay I didn't expect Such different body types I'll stay with the default Oh, classic This is my mood all the time um, While I'm getting this made Everybody, if you're new here Follow the channel you get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. I don't like how my mouth is just open the whole time. It, the, the default is a bit creepy. The default is giving clown. I like this one. Oh, I, I didn't pick it. Oh, 
Oh, I can change the color. I'll keep red. I think red will be easiest to see because I assume most of the terrain is going to be like of nature. So browns and browns and greens. My name is Peace in underscore 17. Home planet Karut. The Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. I did not accept it. They just told me to do it. I was forced to. Not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue poor. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. <laughs> it's all up to me, guys. Do you trust me? Let's be honest. I wouldn't trust myself either. I'm in. Imagine I crashed. <laughs> Search for the missing rescue officers. I need to think of a voice I want to do for like the uh, tutorial directions. Home planet Gia. This young, loyal rescue pup is one of the elite breed of space dogs that long serve the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Mission Rescue the Rescue Corps. Found the rescue pup. You encountered the Rescue Corps' rescue, rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. There's a dog barking outside too, right now. <laughs> you found someone in need of rescuing. Begin rescue operations at once. He's so strong. Why am I not helping? I should be helping too. All the dirt has been removed. Um, huh? Is that you, Ochi? Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So, you and Ochi found and rescued me... together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, com communications operator for the rescue corps. Colin, from home planet, Gia. As the rescue corps com com communications officer, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Found comms operator Colin. Easy. You met up with Colin, the rescue corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Hale. My bath got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's peace in underscore 17, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'm going to be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps... Well... It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. What happened? No. I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spaceship. 
We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose one ship had crashed only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Hello? And, if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Mira? Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. And phone numbers. <laughs> He's like, talk to me after class. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Eddie. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. You can use this app anytime to confirm when what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Oh wait, that's my ship. <gasps> there she is! There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead, let's go. The planets on this- the plants on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe with R. I just like to go guns blazing, honestly. If I get hurt, what else? Oh well. <laughs> Look! That's it! See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepard. It's impossible to get over the ledge. There's something under that dirt. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh. This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. It's a portal! Hello? I wonder if those two holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. Let's go! Oi. That's the spirit. Here we go. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Sir, we're part of the rescue corps. We have no fear. Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level 1. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Whoa. Looks like a dead end. Eddie. Let's try somewhere else. Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Pizen. The captain comes from a long line. This is not the time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Come on. 
<laughs> Easy. Phew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down now? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're alright. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. No. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by herself? Huh. Ochi is not supposed to obey anyone but me. Yes, that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Shepard, from home planet Gia, the 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Man, we're finding everybody so easily. I'm just a pro. We found Captain Shepard. But the captain here feels like there may be some hope for us after all. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? <laughs> While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up these two. When I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. What? Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Huh. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Right. Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Come on. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything. Copy that is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. I'm a rookie. Let me be. I don't believe in this saluting each other. You'll be able to access them via your tablet at the as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as rescue pup trainer. Quite the conundrum. That was quite a rush. It's almost like I knew what to do already. I remember this area. Ooh. Which way? Right is right. There. That's where I fell in. My word. To think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Hey, there's something under the light. I wanna go this way first. Oh, I fell. Oh no. Oh no. I can't jump. Can I really not jump? That's D-U-M. Oh, I was just there. Okay. I got it.
enjoying this so far. I wonder if every core member is like a different power. Excuse me. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when incur encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe just don't touch it. I completely agree. Though, in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Alright, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Now let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done. I guess we're just gonna skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain ourselves. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit re I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. And good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. There she is. Sorry, I got a text. Okay, we're good. I was like, drama? <laughs> is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Status report? Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So, we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Hey. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. I found treasure. After, after thorough investigation to the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they may contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found a real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepherd, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasure. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Mission. Secure energy source. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. Pigment? For that, we can use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Convenient! It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. SS Beagle is repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. 
Let's find that treasure. Okay. See anything sparkly around here? Yes. Is that what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, the rookie. Plus, press plus to open the radar map. Oh. Presence of sparkly unconfirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Oh, that's the only treasure. Sad. But, um... Excellent work. I'm gonna take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to move it? Have our dog do it. Easy. Excellent, it's on the move. That's perfect. That treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection. So it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Hi. Ooh, 50! Nice! Yes! Energy detected! Kanuko. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkling, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? Pretty. I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium on loan. Though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that could happen, we're gonna need a lot more. Toro. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. New treasure collected. Okay, it does not show on the map where there's treasure. But I have a little treasure for some of you guys. Because we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep on playing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. This has surprisingly been been a lot more talking than I thought there'd be. I mean, classic Nintendo to not have, like, actual voice acting. But they only had it during the cutscene, and that's kind of sad. Okay, let's find more of that treasure. I see something sparkly way up there. <gasps> Get out of the way! That was close. Too close. How are we going to transport this? It won't budge. Um. It seems even Ochi can't carry it alone. Tomorrow. Call Ochi and go look for other treasure. Oh. What's this? Mano? Is it a treasure? Hmm, I wonder what it can be. 
Evacuation completed. Good job, Ochi. Carry it just like that. It looks like one of those fly traps you see at the shop. think it's a treasure what could it be it looks kind of like a plant could this be that thing captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log he called it an onion if this is an onion then what is that sprout huh Red Pikmin. What? Oh my. I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. No. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. No. Oh. Look at that. Ochi's already bounding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well. And, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? You can select Pikmin with left and R. And press A to throw them, I believe. We're gonna yeet them. What? More sprouts? Hello? That red sea-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it'll create more pigmen. Um. What a mysterious life form. Guys, infinite pigmen glitch. Oh, and I, I gotta keep plucking them. Just like all my pimples. <laughs> I wonder what's the most I can have. Can I have like a million little Pikmin soldiers? Oh, I only have four, okay. Oh, it tells you how many you need to pick up the item, got it. Hi, Coco. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hi, hon. Oops. I missed. <laughs> I've been playing this game constantly. I know, I feel like I'm so behind because it came out on Friday. But I wanted to wait for stream. This is my first ever Pikmin game, so I have no clue. I am clueless. Oh, I don't have to pluck every single one individually. Whoa, well, that's a lot of Pikmin. Yes, sir, is it enough? I want more. <laughs> They're so strong! Look at them! It's so cute! Heave ho! Heave ho! New treasure collected! Another tre treasure collected. We need to keep this up. 
Okay, I only need a hundred more. This one looks extra shiny. We're almost at 300 units. We've got this. This is the best one in the series? Okay, good that I chose to play the right one. Because I know they released the previous versions that were emulated on the Switch, and I was going to play them for stream, but I wanted to play this one first. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination! Thank you. Yes, yeah. Keep up the good work. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Dude, the ship just got yassified. Holy. The SS Shepherd is running. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkly of extracted from the treasure. Hello, hello. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Put it up and see if we can pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Exploration results, day one. Rescues, two. Colin and Shepard. Sparkly undiscovered. Huh? That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. Pardon? We encounter unknown objects and elements in our missions all the time, so I had an so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Sparkly, I'm discovered. Noble Bident, Stone of Advancement, and Path Grader. Total of 300 Sparklium. <laughs> I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd be roughing it for... I'd been roughing it for long enough. There's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recons, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Fifteen hundred? Holy... I need so much sparkly of them. That's day one. Rescue mission, day two. No. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call the strategy meeting to order. Copy that. 
Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered, thanks to the efforts of PSIN. However, the whereabouts of the other rescue... The whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. Hale. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olmar, has run into some roadblocks. Oh, our first priority is now to search and rescue our fellow rescue officers. More. Peace in. Oh, gee. Fly to the area where our raider picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Pretty. Don't worry will be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have our full support. Marco. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good paws with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Come on. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? Oh. No. You may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Mission. Rescue Olimar. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Finally. Are you free to chat real quick? Yeah. He did say he wanted to talk to me after class. <laughs> you'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and, and explore? Yes, sir? Which area would you like to explore? The Sun Speckled Terrace. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. I don't want to go there yet. I want to get more Pikmin. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Come find me. Okay, so it seems like you talk to him when you want to look at new areas. But I want to get more Pikmin. Oh, he can't climb. L dog. I want a mall. <laughs> Get out here. I'm gonna get every single Pikmin. I'm gonna have so many little friends. Onions stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Aww. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how much they can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Oh, come on. No infinite Pikmin glitch? Damn. I wanted more. I'm going to move my chat box because the HUD is right here. So I'll make it so the chat box is on the right side of the screen. Because I personally hate when like elements overlap. There we go. 
Now I can see it. Do you know if I do this? I can't get more? Come on, walk faster. It looks like they're moving like the baby bell cheeses. Oh yeah, I, ca I can't get any more. Hmm. I guess I'll go explore. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Which area would you like to explore? Oh, so once I hit... Once I hit the different sparkling levels, I unlock new areas. Got it. Noted. Travel to Sun Speckled Terrace now? Yes, sir. Oh, the Pikmin go with me! Nice! I thought I'd have to get more every single time. Oh. The onion's going too? <laughs> Easy. They're all mine. I wonder if this planet is Earth. Come in. Come in, this is Colin. Looks like he made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Copy that? We're counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied us as Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion only also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you can put those Pikmin to good use. Okay, I'm gonna... Ooh, that was what happened when I paused. Let's see, I gotta change my overlay a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that flash. Oh, how am I gonna do this HUD? Whoa, look at me, I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is a weird ass HUD. Okay, I'll, I'll just cover my health bar because I feel like that's not as important. Okay, I'm back in. Oh, there's so much to do here. Who 
ready to call the Pikmin out of the onion? Yes, sir. Plus two. So this seems like a game where you know how to count. Or you need to know how to count. Okay, where's my dog? Where is he? Okay, actually, where'd my dog go? Here you are. Wait, was that a Pikmin's cry just now? Oh, did it die? Stop! Oh, I can... I think that enemy ate my other pigment. kill enemies they make more pikmin weird what's wrong with you yeah get back in line oh that's 20 okay Important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Oh, no. He has a sharp sense of smell, so we'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions and then use left to select a search command. Oh, to begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You'll, ne you'll never know where his nose may lead you. Oh, rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. Huh? You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dandori before? How to explain... Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with a maximum efficiently efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Hey. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenant to the rescue corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is an essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for rescue officers. To get things started, open Y actions and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Makes sense, so we're not just aimlessly walking around. I forgot the button already. <laughs> well, it was Y, right? Oh, I have to hold Y. Go pick up the scent, OG. Oh. How do I get my Pikmin back? Why do you go back here? They're supposed to obey me. Come here. Little suckers. Now come with me. I see a treasure up ahead. Oh, okay, I can use left and right to switch between Ochi and the Pikmin. I didn't realize that. Kill him! Ooh. 
one Pikmin head banging. <laughs> it's going a little bit too crazy at the rave. <laughs> oh, I can hit it too. I didn't realize. Dude, we're all going crazy. We're all peas. I do bunching. And we're in. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Raw materials. One can mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find more applications for it. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientists back, I'd better be able to make a good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Yeah, he's gonna be so excited to go back to work. Okay, the day is halfway gone already. Look, there's a cave here, too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into a cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Ooh, more Pikmin! I want to get more buddies first. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use. If it was finished. Hmm. Okay, how do I get the pigment from the base? No one bored that. Huh? Another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune uh, locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we can track them down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're, if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Don Denny master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Get him, Moki! Get him! Oh! Ochi's tail is burning! But the fire will be right away! Oh, did I do it? I think I did. Press B, like she said. How am I liking the game? I'm liking it for the most part. I feel like it'll get more. Oh, oh, she's gonna die! Oh! How do I heal you? Dude, oh, okay, you cannot see the health bar. But he has, like, no health. It's gone. <laughs> He's like one one hundredth of his health. <laughs> oh no! Maybe I I have to I think I have to sacrifice some Pikmin. Oki's gonna die. Okay, officially halfway through the day. I'm gonna go back and more pick. Oh, how do I get? How do I get back? I have nothing. Do you know where all your pigmen are? Uh, no, I don't. I do not. 
You're ready to call the big man out the onion? I yes, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Jeez. Now we got tan. <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. They're like little ants. Just kind of working in the background. I wonder if I can heal my dog. Wait, there's a treasure right there. I don't think I can reach it from here, though. Oh, dude, come on, let me clip, let me clip. Yeah, there's no way. Ain't no way. You know what some of you guys can do, though? Is follow the channel if you're new. Because we are... Uh, 30 minutes into stream. So if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Okay, there's gotta be a way for me to heal. I noticed you look at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you a handy little function it has? Hello. The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with a down arrow or a left and right arrow. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It is a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Okay, how do I... How do, how do I heal, though? I can rewind time? Just like 21 pilots? Okay, let's see Ochi. Okay, there, there's no... It doesn't tell me how to heal. He, he's just gonna die. He's gonna die for the cause. Get ready to say R.I.P. Ochi. My controller keeps vibrating because Ochi has such low health. I'm just gonna send him in. I wanna see what happens. Ochi deserves a purple heart. Ochi knocked out! Oh no, Ochi! Let's hurry and get the poor little pup back to base. You're on your own for a bit, but don't give up on your mission. You can do this. We'll let Ochi rest at the base for a while. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't realize he'd be out for the whole day now. Okay, so I guess I just gotta avoid enemies. Because Ochi is too weak. Oh, I feel like this will kill him. Oh no! Uh oh, the poor Pikmin got shocked. Call them with B to wake them up. Wake up! Have you lost track of any? No? Lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm just exploring. 
Jeez, they're so judgmental. Oh, there's more enemies. Oh, I just noticed. Look at Ochi, he has an X on his face because he's dead. It is all my fault. Sag, Ochi. Okay, now I have no more Pikmin. Does that mean, like, every time I run out, I have to go back to base? Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Are those gonna be the yellow ones? Hmm, they can't reach it. You can't transport this thing for now. Damn, I wanted yellow ones. Okay, I think I just gotta go back to base then. Can I carry one of these? No, I cannot. I don't- there's gotta be another way. Like, I don't have to go back to base every single time. I hope. Hi, bestie. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Quackity is king. <laughs> but welcome in. Oh, who are you guys? How did you escape? Genuinely, where did they come from? Oh, this POV is kind of scary. She her? Got it, boss. Oh no, the day is almost over. Oh, rouse. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to base before it gets too dark. Oh? According to Captain Alomar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. Oh, it seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Oh, I... Oh, no! Uh-oh. No? I only meant to wake up Ochi. There was ten little guys, like, so far away. Oh, there they are. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you guys to do that. Uh oh, okay, are they on the map? What is this? Oh, yeah, those are the ones that are super far away. Oh, no. <laughs> They're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, they had to fight enemies. Okay, abort. Abort mission. Abort. Oh, my God. He's stuck. He's still unlocked. He's still unlocked. No way. <laughs> Does everybody turn into No. You want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they could easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights in aim where you want them. Okay, to auto target. Okay, got it. Okay, I- we need to go. We need to go. 
But we're so far away. We live? We weren't even there yet. See, I don't even have to play the game good. It just makes me win. I genuinely do think I practice Dondori all the time. Whenever I do errands or when I'm planning out my bus routes or like cooking, I always try to do it in like the most efficient way I can. Exploration results, day two. No one rescued. No treasure found! Oh, we lost one! Minus one Pikmin! Great work today. It's a shame we couldn't track down any of our missing rescue officers. We haven't detected any rescue signals above ground. Huh. The rescue corps does attract the adventurous type. If any of them were to find a cave, they'd probably dive right in. That's where we found you, Captain. Tomorrow, let's focus on exploring and seeking out more caves. Okay. Whatever. I was just trying to get more Pikmin. Get more little soldiers. I was indoctrinating more Pikmin. Rescue mission, day three. This might take a while. <laughs> okay, so this time... I need to get sparkly things and actually save people. And stop stalling. I wonder if the Pikmin I got yesterday will stay. I hope so. <laughs> Progress, 0%. Oops. Oh, I can only get 20. Huh. I'm gonna try and get everything near the start. That way I have like a, a baseline amount. Guys doing? Oh, I commanded them to do this. Okay, so whenever they complete a task, they go back to base. There's gotta be a way to, like, not have to go back to base. Does seem kind of silly. Maybe the tutorial told me already. I just didn't register for their information. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Oh, guys, eat that shit up! Eat it all! I want you to get big and strong! Oh, they've all blossomed already. Nice! Now I must get more. I just to throw them all at this. team oh no ochi's been hurt ochi's fine ochi is a-okay i do think i lost him though oh he's over here okay so he doesn't stay by my side that's kind of annoying least loyal dog in the world Yeah, I'm not gonna have Ochi, like, murk anybody. Oh, I can move the base! Lomao. I, <laughs> I did not realize. Okay, so that's kind of like fast travel almost. I wonder if I can go in the water. Oh, I can! Ochi, get- This is bad. Ochi, you can't swim. Call them back to land with your whistle. Man, Ochi is taking so many L's. Poor Ochi. Okay, my assumption is that different Pikmin have different powers. I think the blue Pikmin can swim. Ochi, I keep telling you to not attack. Come back here. Ochi is dealing. Oh, he's gonna eat a. Poor little Pikmin. Okay, guys, come back, come back. I'm sorry. We're gonna send all of our power. All 19 of them. You were able to defeat it somehow. Next try time, try not to lose any more Pikmin. No, they're fine. They did not die. They... They got a purple heart. I want to explore the whole map before I go in the cave. They feel like the cave will progress the story. Place weapons to like merc the balloons. 
And I mean it in the sense of you're distributing resources to do a task and you just kind of watch it pro play out in the background. Okay, so I can have 20 following me at any given time. So that means I, I can spawn more than 20. I'm not sure how much... Oh, this game is like a puzzle. Yeah, I can't get up there still. A uh, shiny thing. Can you guys get up there? Come on, I'm sure you guys can jump. I do like how the game kind of encourages you just button mashing. Get him, boys! Kill him! Team player, he keeps dying on the field. Okay, you guys work on that. I'm gonna go back to base. Do you know where all your pigmen are? No, I do not. I don't have the GPS tracking on their phones. I don't believe in that. I wish I could, like, carry shit, too. Maybe I'm just too weak. Oh, what are you doing? Dude, soldier! Okay, there's no way for me to get up here yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, why are some pigmen like lagging behind? But once they blossom, they walk faster, I forgot. Okay, so the map isn't crazy big. That is nice. No. I don't think I have enough time to go down here. So I think I'm just gonna gain more resources while I'm close. Oh, 
I think I'm learning. Oh no! <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Oh, I have no clue where I am. I am clueless. Oh, the original base was here. Okay. Oh, I just did a circle. Nice. I wish my character could dash. That'd be nice. Finally. Oh, I don't have enough. Man. It sucks they have to like go all the way around. I don't have much time left. Hurry up, I know, I know, jeez. I don't think they're going to make it. Yeah, they're not going to make it. Sad. Oh, where am I going? Oh, oh, it blips on the map to tell me where they are. Just stare.
Minus two. R.I.P. Two Pikmin. You will get two purple hearts. I didn't realize it would show them dying. Dude, that's so mean. Like, they get to the launch pad, they're like, wait for me! And then they just get insta-eaten. Exploration results, day three. No one rescued. No treasure found. <laughs> Excuse me, Colin. Remind me again how I access the rescue journal on the tablet? Yeah. Of course, Captain. First, press plus to open the tablet, then B to open the tablet menu. From there, navigate down the rescue journal app and open it up. If you want to be able to access the app immediately in the future, press minus to assign it to a shortcut button. Ah, thanks for the refresher. Each section of the rescue journal is full of wisdom passed down from generations of captains who came before me. Please make it a habit to check it out regularly and take their lessons to heart. Understood? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just like the captain when she re or just like the captain when she remembers how to access it. Hey, shut up. Just because I'm bad at the game doesn't mean Rescue Mission Day 4. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, if I had 30 days, no way I'd save them all. You know who else I can't save? The non-subs. Because everybody, we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be fully transparent. The game is cute. It's nice. It's, like, not too crazy puzzle-wise. Like, I can see how, like, you have to manage your resources, like, for the Pikmin on, like, deciding which tasks to have them do first. I don't know if this is a good stream game. I don't think it's a good stream game. Because since there's not much happening, it's hard to commentate. So I very much would rather do a more like combat heavy or story heavy game. I like this game. Pigman is nice. But this seems like something I would play like at the end of my day to like wind down. This doesn't seem like a good stream game. Maybe I'm just not too far enough into it. But I don't think I want to play this first stream. That's just what I'm thinking. It's not that I didn't have a lot of like chat activity. It's just like I don't know how to commentate over this. Or like, because to me, I try to make streams additive when I can. Like either do voices if it's more story heavy. I react or I add some form of like substance like commentary wise but this it's hard to like think of what to say like I said this seems like something I would play when I'm trying to like veg out or like calm down because it is nice exploring is nice but it to me it's similar to like Pokemon to where you just like wander around there's like not much happening but that was two hours of Pikmin a good first look at Pikmin 4. I liked it. It's It feels bad whenever you fail because you're like, oh, I murked those Pikmin. But I still enjoyed it. It was nice, fun. Don't know if I'll play it for stream, but I'll, I'll definitely play it on my offline for sure. This might become my new, like, wind down game. Because now that I've started, like, using the elliptical in the morning, I'll either play, like, Cuphead for 30 minutes or Cozy Grove. So maybe this is, like, my... My go to bed game. Because the music is kind of like lullaby E2. But yeah. Um. Hmm. I genuinely thought that.
Because for a stream, you should be able to play a game or commentate over a game for at least three hours. I don't think this is something that I could do for three hours. <laughs> I don't know. It's because, like, I'm not a cozy streamer. I don't like when I just, I just sit here and I play the game and then I don't talk. I don't like doing that. Oh no, cancel me, cancel me, do it, do it. I don't know, I was I was hesitant to, to try this. But I still like the game, it's just not good for stream. Anyway. And I have to do chores anyway. <laughs> I was planning on streaming till 6, and it's 5.30. So, guys... That was a first look at Pikmin 4. I know most of you guys are playing it yourselves or are going to play it. I think you should. It's nice. It's pleasurable. It's enjoyable. It doesn't seem too hard. It's kind of like baby eat. But sometimes that's what we need, right? Not every game can be Mario Kart. Not every game can be so difficult. I think I will wrap it up here for today. But don't worry, we'll get to do calligraphy because we've got two resubs today. So thank you. We're going to do calligraphy. So if you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. The, the main reason why I'm choosing to wrap it here is because I always tell myself I don't want to do anything for stream that I don't feel like doing in the moment. It's not that I hate Pikmin, it's just... too It's too slow. Maybe if I was tryharding with the puzzle, it'd go quicker, but it's, it's too slow. Oh, that looks cool. How do I save? Does it auto-save? Oh, save and return to title. There is a save button. You gotta, you gotta press minus. Okay, so there's auto-save checkpoints. Got it. Okay, the OP music slaps, though. It is very nice. Okay, I want to test this real quick. Because Twitch has a new function to where you can customize your resub alerts, and it looks different. I missed this one. What's this? Huh. It didn't show up any different. What's this? So I'm just- because it said this person when they reset had a customization. Huh. Or maybe it showed up in chat, maybe? I don't know, the new Twitch alerts are kind of silly sometimes. It's skull emoji. <laughs> okay, let's do Euler names first. You guys know the drill. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Pick one. Pick one, Pikmin. Stream felt short today? Yeah. Only two hours. Plus, it's later in the day. I I just don't see myself playing Pikmin for more than three hours in one sitting. Even, like, in my offline time. It's a bit too slow, unfortunately. I feel like... Pikmin might be good for, like, an hour segment of stream, but not for, like, a whole stream. I just feel bad. I wanted to like it more, but it's just not my type. Guys, I'm a Pikmin hater. You heard it here. Oh, Minty is, like, a yellow color.
I think once you get the hang of it, you'll like it more. Yeah, I might come back to it on stream. Maybe I'll do it for, like, sub only. Because, like, I'm one of those people to where if I don't, like, instantly like it, that I can never get into something. That's why, um, for, like, TV shows, the first two episodes are really important to me. Like, they gotta grab my attention. <laughs> because for me, I knew how to play immediately since I played the past games. Oh. Maybe that was it. I just had that disadvantage, maybe. Sag. Don't worry, don't worry. I will give updates whenever I play offline. I'll be like, guys, I rescued every single um, rescue officer. Because usually to end my nights, I'll like hang out with one of my friends on Discord and we'll like play games together. Not together, but like just like screen share and show each other the other person's game so maybe that'll become my <laughs> discord call <laughs> game <laughs> this game is kind of difficult really is it one of those it's not me it's you type of dilemmas <laughs> The game gets difficult quickly. Uh-oh. You're supposed to sell me on the game, make not make me not want to play it. <laughs> Come on. I spent 60 bucks on this. Anyway, thank you, Minty, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. It's so good. What if I just refunded the game right now? come back to it offline occasionally don't worry and I'll make sure to merge every single Pikmin I find okay this silver is very faint but I promise it's there Also, I would like to say, I don't have my viewer account on. I don't see it. But even if I had, like, a lot of people watching me play. Like, if I, if I had 100 people, I wouldn't enjoy playing this on stream, I don't think. Um, once again, thank you, Ed, for the six-month resub as well. Two new budding sunflower badges in chat. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, now we get to do Brokies. If you got me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points.
You know what it also could be? Since I've been playing Cuphead, nothing will beat that. It's so good. Like, Cuphead is peak. Isn't Cuphead really hard? It is, but I'm surprisingly still better at it than my sister is. Because we've been doing co-op. But even, like, I've tried replaying some of the bosses we've beaten by myself. And I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. But it, it's kind of, it's, <laughs> my sister, <laughs> she was like, isn't this like gambling? We just want to keep playing over and over again because we get so close to winning and beating the boss. It's just like gambling. And I was like, no, it's not. I just want to find another game that's like eastward like just give me a copycat eastward and i'll be so happy okay ready we had kobobo and macrodeem last call if you want me to write your name all you need to do is use your channel points and i will write your name for free any redeemers mod check Y'all got five, four, three, two. So I think it's funny to look at my uh, OBS Twitch preview and then camera. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, just watching my eyes go back for this really funny. Okay, everybody. Let's wrap it up here for today. I know it's short stream. But I got a first look into the new Pikmin. Like I said earlier, not a good stream game. Kind of hard to think of, like, things to say. But I will definitely play it on my offline. And I will keep you guys updated if I save, um... Uh, or if I merc every single Pikmin. I will keep you updated. Okay. I have a loaded week this week. I gotta do shit tomorrow. So, next stream day will probably be Thursday. Um, keep in mind, since my sister got laid off, I'm gonna have to help her with a lot of things. So that may mean I'll have to skip stream days or start at different times. So make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. We did stream late today, so if you weren't part of the Noti crew, you would've missed it. Um, like I said, next stream day will be Thursday. I think I'll do a one-off game. Hope y'all are doing well. We're doing okay. We're still like in the... <gasps> like the shock phase. <laughs> but you know, it's it. Oh, like I said earlier, they're doing construction for the next two weeks. Like, right outside the unit. So I'm gonna try and figure out audio. And hopefully... You guys won't hear the... Da -da 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 <laughs> of the power drills. That was also really annoying. But anyway, next two weeks are gonna be hell, guys. My stream anniversary is August 2nd. Almost a week from now. That's wild. What are we gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know if I should even do a subathon. I feel like that's kind of gimmicky. But I feel like that's the only time I should. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The July and June have been shit. They've been shit. <laughs> but we'll get through it. Maybe I just have to start therapy again. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Bye bye. <laughs>